right, so to make our animal tubes, you are going to need a uh, toilet paper tube like this one, um, or if you have a paper towel tube that could work, you can just cut it in half and then you'll have two. Um, if you don't have these things right now, um, and you really, really, really want to start making your animal tubes, you can do it two ways. You can make a tube um, with just using paper at home and some scissors, or if you've got like cardboard boxes, like a cereal box that's done, uh, you can use that or any kind of cardboard uh, boxes could work. So I'm gonna show you real quick on how we can uh, create a tube using either paper or cardboard boxes if you don't have the tube. All right, so using um, a cardboard box like this one, I'll show you how to make a tube. What you're going to need is obviously the cardboard box, uh, a pair of scissors, a ruler if you want to get an exact measurement and something to mark it with, like a marker or a pencil. So what you're going to do first is go ahead and just uh, cut open that box, so find an area and just cut that. All right, so now that the box is open, we got a lot of cardboard space we can work with. So what I would do first is go ahead and just kind of cut off some of these extra uh, wings that are sticking out. And then what I would do is cut off uh, just a section because you're not going to need this entire piece of cardboard. So all this extra stuff, uh, you can maybe make something else with that or make another animal tube or whatever you want to do, um, but we won't need all that. So we'll put that to the side. All right, so now that we've got a piece, what I'm gonna do is just measure out on here. Um, there's no exact correct measurement, but you could do, I think I'm gonna do about, let's see, this tube is about four inches, so I'm gonna mark about four inches here. And I'm going to mark about, hmm, maybe about five inches here. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm gonna make a box with that. So I'm gonna match up the edge of my ruler with the edge of the cardboard piece so it's nice and straight. And I'm gonna line it up to where I marked it. All right, and then I'll draw a line and do the same thing here. I'm gonna line up my ruler all right, and go ahead. All right, perfect. So now I'm ready. I'm going to put those aside, grab my scissors, and start cutting it out. All right, so now that I've cut it out, this, this will be extra, so I'll put that to the side. All right, now that I've got a cardboard piece, what I'm going to do is now roll this into a tube. So you're gonna have to kind of wiggle and bend uh, your cardboard, depending on how thick it is, to kind of start shaping it into a tube shape, right? So what I'm gonna do, instead of it uh, going on the outside where I see the cereal box, I'm gonna make sure I fold it the other way. So I want this to be the front of my tube. So I'm gonna bend it and shape it into like a tube shape. I'm just gonna kind of shape it into that tube shape. Now, what I'm gonna do to attach it, you can do it a couple of different ways. Uh, you can use tape, or if you've got staples, you can staple it together. Glue might be a little bit tricky, but um, you can try that if that's all you've got and uh, let it sit. So I'm gonna use tape here to tape mine together. I'm gonna grab a little piece of tape. All right, and I'm gonna bend and it's gonna overlap just a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna bend it, shape it into that tube. <clears throat> I'm gonna hold it with one hand to make sure it won't go anywhere. And with my other hand, with the tape, I'm gonna put some tape on it, give it a nice little massage, and have it wrap over. All right, and there we go. So I'm gonna add another piece of tape to the other side just to make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, 
All right, so there you go. So now you've got your little paper tubes and that should work fine. You can do the same thing um, with using a piece of paper. Uh, same thing, just how we did with cardboard. It's just gonna be a little more flimsy. You'll, it might not be as easy to work with, but you can still use paper if that's all you've got. So I'm gonna measure about four inches and then about five inches this way. Same thing, you're just going to shape it and bend it into a tube. Um, now, if um, you don't have a ruler and you can't measure, that's a-okay. You can make up your own measurements. This isn't doesn't have to be precise. Um, that's just the size I use, but if you wanna make yours even bigger, if you want yours to be the whole piece of paper, make it ginormous, you can do that too, okay? Um, and that's it.